How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be talking you through the array for each method. So it's used to loop through an array, giving you access to the element itself and also the index of the element. So it's a, it's basically just a neat way of doing a for loop through an array. So let's get right into it. We'll define a new array up here called numbers equal to an array of numbers. So for example, one, four, five and 68, I reckon. So now we're going to use the for each method on this array to print out all the numbers in the console. So down here, we'll just type out numbers dot for each. And that's the method right there. So for each, this takes a function as a parameter. So we'll type out function right here. And this function takes uh, multiple parameters, but we're going to be using the element. So we're going to pass in or just define E here. So we know that this function here uh, gets called for every element in the array and E is each individual element. So I'll just show as an example, what we'll do is just uh, console log out E. So now this should print out one, four, five and 68 to the console. In the browser, we'll just uh, refresh here and we see 14568. So what's happening is uh, this function right here is being called for every element in the array and E is the value of that element. So E was 1, E was 4, E was 5, E was 68. Alright, so that's that right there. That's a simple example. Now we can also access the index of these elements. So uh, we'll just um, get rid of all this right here. We'll make a new array called names equal to an array of strings. So we can say uh, Dom, Bob, and I reckon we'll do Mary. All right. So now with this, we're going to loop through the array and print out the name as well as the index that they're at. So obviously we have index zero, index one, index two. So we can say names dot for each. Similar thing. We'll, do, we'll use that function again. We have E again, but now we're also going to have I. So now with this, I gets passed in, and that is the index of the element that you're currently on. So we can just then uh, just log out. We'll say, yep, uh, E, and then we can say, put a space there and just uh, log out I. So now in the in the browser we can refresh and we see Dom zero Bob one and Mary two. So as we can see, I is the index of each element as it goes through it. Now just keep in mind that this for each method isn't fully supported in all the browsers or all the um, all the clients just yet. So just make sure when you're making your applications that the for each method works on all your browsers and all your clients. But that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you later.